we are at my Belgrade Goodwill, so let's run in here and see what we can find. So I've never seen Allen Edmonds that look like this. These are the weirdest looking ones I've seen. It's the Voyager model. They're 18, so I'll have to look them up. I don't know who's pricing stuff today, but these are the most ridiculous prices I've seen at the store so far. 15 bucks a toner. It's not even name brand. Okay, so this is one of the better models of SodaStream to find. It's eight bucks. I think that's worth it. It's probably like a $40 one, 50 maybe. And I'm sure you just saw the bat in here. I gotta look it up before I go over it. I've had pretty good luck with these leg massagers before. This one is by Fit King. It is $10. I just looked it up and it looks like I can get about 40, maybe 50 for it. So I'll grab that. All right, so for $7.99, I found this launch port wall station and it looks like it goes between 50 and 80. All right, so those other non-name brand ones, probably, this is probably not worth 15 either, but I am gonna look them up just to be sure because they are name brand. Boy, am I about to eat my words. So out of all of them, those are the only two I'm not getting. I will go over these now, might as well. So this HP 414A black goes for about 90. The blue ones go for about 115 a piece. This yellow one goes for about 120. These two magenta goes for uh, about 90 a piece. And I think these were about 75 a piece. So 15 each is paying up, but they have a very good sell through rate. That is insane. I can't believe I was just crap talking it and they're worth so much. I'm gonna make some really good money off of all this. That's definitely a good find. And yes, they were all brand new, sealed, unopened, so. All right, so now I'm gonna stop talking about the HP toner, but I'm in the women's shoes now and I've came across these tall keen boots for nine, oh, nope, not 9999, yeah, not 9.99, $17.99. So never mind. I am gonna pass on those. I've had good luck with tall king boots in the past. I would probably sell them for $50 pretty quickly, but I don't really want to pay $18 for them. I just noticed these are Tevas. Uh, they're $10. Wait, no, that's not even the same boot. Uh, let me see if I can find this other Teva boot because those are probably worth like $40. I haven't found the Tiva boot yet, but I do want to show you guys something. I'm not going to get it because of the price and condition. So they're $25 and a little worn, but I just want to show you guys this brand because it's a new brand for me and now a new bolo. It is called Mountain Horse. They're like equestrian riding boots and they sell very well for about $100 to like $120. So I, it's definitely a brand I'm going to look out for now on and maybe you guys should too. These Sorel boots would be good, but they're also 25. I mean, they're in good condition, just too high for me. There's these Hoka's for eight. Pretty worn though. I've never seen this model. Profly? Hmm. I'm gonna pass on them, but if they're in better condition, eight would be a great buy. Then some Nikes. Ah, eh, 15. I just looked up the Allen Edmonds Voyagers. I am gonna put them back. They sell okay for about 50 bucks plus shipping. But they have some like scuffs on the side so for 18 i'm gonna have to leave them and so tomorrow here at this goodwill it's half off all men's clothing so you'll see this in this video um there's a few items that if they're still here i'm gonna get them like some burnt snow pants and yeah i'll show you guys that here in like a few minutes when you see it okay i was walking through the pants though and i think i'm, I'm not gonna wait till half off day because these might not be here anymore uh some sims fishing pants that looks like that should come off but uh yeah I've, you guys have seen me find this multiple times because there's a the Sims like factory right down the road So I find it pretty often, but it's a good brand I was about to go check out, but I decided to check the women's uh, jackets area Then I found these two gems. So 686 is already a brand you want to look out for but the smarty models Sell really really well. They're $13 a piece. That's not a 686, but these should go for like 50 to 60 pretty quickly and these are a special blend. That's a pretty good brand as well. Those are probably $45. So I'm gonna take them both up. What a great stop. And this is like later in the day too. So I figured there wouldn't be too much good stuff out, but man, I paid $146 for everything. Um, there's eight toners in total. Like I was saying earlier, some go for about 120, some go for 80 to 90. So let's say an average of 100 a piece, that's $800. Plus the other stuff I found. So I found probably a thousand dollars worth of stuff at one stop for 150 bucks. Well, 146. 
and honestly i sell two of these toners and i'm in the profit so great another thing about the toner it's just kind of a benefit to the situation i think there's like two of each kind so i only really have to make four listings with each one with a quantity of two so that's not only saving me time but time makes me more money all right guys it is wednesday which means it is half off day at four corners thrift i'm not here uh right when they opened but that is okay there's not many resellers in this area so i'm still optimistic i can find something good to flip thrift store all right so dooney and burke wallet for five i don't know how to tell if these are real but so these are some cole Haan chelsea boots for only six bucks so three half off they seem to be in good condition i don't know why they're so cheap i'm gonna get those some brooks adrenalines for six the adrenaline 21 i'll get those just found these echo snow boots for 750 i didn't know echo made snow boots i'm sure those are going to be worth it okay so i'm looking at this dooney and burke wallet and it feels like it, i mean it feels like good quality good condition so i think i'm gonna take a chance on it okay so in the clothes i just found this sims now this is a little faded but it's a sims uh little light puffer vest it is gonna or jacket it's gonna be 750 which i think is worth it um in better condition i could get about 70 to 80 but i think in this condition i can get about 40 to 50. i mean it's in good condition just besides that okay i'm not sure how well this is going to sell it's like a really long tray uh raincoat but it's by outback trading co it's a montana brand and it has done really really well for me in the past it's going to be nine dollars and i think that's worth it i think i could probably get like 40 for it maybe more um like i said i don't know i didn't look it up but i just know the brand's really good i usually don't find a lot of clothing here but i just found this dc snowboard jet oh i did not just find a dc snowboard jacket i guess it was only gonna be five bucks too that's a bummer okay so i just left there i paid 38 dollars for everything since it was half off I did get the Echo boots. I just dropped them though, so they got a little dirt on them. But they have uh, Gore-Tex. And so it looks like I can get about 40 to 50 for these. And they actually sell pretty well. And then the Brooks Adrenaline 21s, once I clean them up, I should get 30 for those. Uh, the Adrenaline 21s are still a pretty popular model. And then the clothing you found, yeah, Sims. I love selling this brand. It sells very well for me. So that's an easy 50 bucks, I would assume. And yeah, that wraps up half off day. We are now heading back to the same Goodwill that you saw at the beginning of this video where I mentioned it is going to be half off all men's clothing there today. Um, I saw some pretty good clothing items there uh, last night, just kind of scoped it out that are going to be pretty decent being half off. So hopefully they're still there. We're going to run and see if we can find some clothing along with other goods to resell. What's weird is that they're doing half off today and today's Thursday and then Monday it's half off everything in the store, which normally they don't do two promotions like that in a, a one week time frame. So, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I just think it's weird. Man, so it looks like the Burton snow pants that was here is gone, but I'll probably get these racing pants along with these Team Venom snowboard pants. So this brand is Key Imperial. They don't sell as well as Carhartt, but I have sold these in the past for 40 to 50. These coveralls, Orvis flannel for four. A little Patagonia hat for four bucks. It's probably 15 to 20. As you guys know, I don't typically go straight for the clothing, but since it's half off all men's, and I, so I just found these uh, Ariat M3 jeans. They're gonna be five bucks. Those will sell for about 30. Oh, and an Ariad button down shirt. It's probably nothing crazy, but it's only four bucks. Should go for like 20. Okay, so when I was here yesterday, these are the only two toners I left behind. For some reason, I just felt inclined to look them up one more time to double check. And they're 15 a piece, which is paying up, but I think I'm still gonna get them. They look like they go for about 50 to 60. They're on the lower end, but I've already sold three of the toners and I listed them yesterday. All right, so I'm not really finding any hard goods. I did find some good clothing finds, the toner. I'm gonna add to my lot of toner and hopefully make some money off of those let me go over some of the clothing for you before it's all bagged up so the Ariat shirt i showed you should get about 20. the Ariat jeans should go for about 30. this orvis it's like a heavy flannel jacket um this i've sold these in the past the blue is a pretty good colorway this should go for about 20 to 25. then the key imperial um i didn't look up this uh, I haven't looked into the snow pants yet, so let me do that really quick. 
Okay, so it's looking like I can get about 30 for it, and it's gonna be 650, so I'm gonna get those as well. And the Fly Racing 516, uh, like BMX pants, mountain biking pants. I don't really know the difference, but those should go for like 35 to 40. I'm not gonna get it because it was 10 bucks, but I, as soon as I stopped filming that last clip you saw, I noticed it sitting up here. So it's a Disney Mickey Mouse Scentsy, buddy. Like the candle warmer, but just a plush. I didn't know Scentsy and Disney collab. That's pretty cool, but it's 10 bucks and it goes for like 20. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dinosaur for Hank, my dog. He, uh, he loves big plush. He's gonna tear it up and destroy it within, you know, five minutes, but he has fun doing it. I don't normally look at plush, but this one's Jurassic World. It's cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. All right, I spent $60 on everything. Just one of the toners should make me back 99% of my money. Um, yeah, so now let's head home, see if Hank likes his new toy, and then afterwards we'll go to storage. <gasps> Do you guys want a new toy? Do you guys want a new toy? Wait, wait. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait. <gasps> Are you so excited? Get it. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, he's got a new toy! He's got oh. oh, we're not going outside. Come on, get your toy! Get your toy! Oh my goodness! Get her, get her! Oh my goodness! <laughs> get her, get her! Get Oh my god! Okay, hang. <laughs> they approve. We're at my storage unit now where I have a few orders to pull. Had a pretty good sales week so far. And I'm not gonna pull them all because it's cold and snowing. But I figured I'd show you some of the highlights and chat a little bit. And here's the first thing going out. It is this uh, Mackie Micro Series Mixer. And if you saw my last video, I paid $20 for it. And it sold for $130 within a few days. And then, I think it's this. It is. So if you haven't seen my uh, the Millionaire Estate Sale video, you should definitely check it out, it's a good one. I can link it down in the comments, or not the comments, the description. But I got this Airport, Apple Airport Express from that sale. And I paid roughly $20 for it, I got it in a lot of stuff. And this is actually, everything I sold now, with this selling. This sold for, I think it was $130. Yeah, $130 as well as that. So, not too bad for 20 bucks. I've already made about 500 off that one sale. In the last video, I also did a Facebook Marketplace buy where I bought um, an X, two Xboxes, a PlayStation 2, and a bunch of games for 100 in total. And I sold an Xbox, uh, it's the original Xbox. Sorry about the cords and mess. But uh, I paid, I sold this for 130, came, comes with two controllers and all the cords. And I still have the other two to sell. And while I'm right here, cause it's sitting right next to my face, are these uh, kids Dalbello ski boots. And kids ski boots sell almost as fast, if not better than adult ski boots. But um, I sold these for 50 and I don't remember how much I paid. I'm guessing between five and $8, 10 at the most, but I don't think I paid 10 for them. I figured as I'm pulling orders, I'll do a little chatting as well. Um, so if you guys are new to the channel, my name's Mikhail. I am a full-time reseller. Uh, reselling has been my sole income for over three years now. I've been reselling since I was like 15. I bought some storage units. I would dumpster dive, stuff like that. But now uh, I'm in strictly online seller. I do still buy the occasional storage unit if it's good. And I'd be excited to, you know, film me going through one of those at some point. So I'll probably do that at some point in the my YouTube career. But yeah, I also, I don't know if I said it already, I sell in Poshmark and Mercari as well. And I, so I already said this in a video like a month and a half ago, but I've still been getting asked by new subscribers um, what my eBay store information is. And that's one I am not gonna give out, unfortunately. I've thought about it long and hard, and I've been, you guys ask because I've seen in the comments saying like, you guys wanna shop my store, or buy something to support me, and that means so much that so you just want to do that. Like I've only been on YouTube for less than three months now, and that, that means a lot. But I want to be a reseller first, a YouTuber second. I do plan on, you know, hopefully getting my YouTube to a point where it's a good portion of my income, but I wanna be a reseller first. I want you guys to be able to trust me as a reseller, um, trust the information I give you, rather than thinking I'm just making these videos for, you know, for clout, for attention, and 
that's not the case because I love reselling. I am passionate about it and I don't want to be one of those resellers who get, you know, 50 to 75% of their sales being viewers. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me get, make that clear. I have nothing against any of the YouTubers who do that. I think it's awesome. I think it's so cool that you guys show so much support to them and the community. I just personally want to kind of have something different about my channel than others. Kind of want to have it be like, okay, you know. This guy's serious about reselling. But anyways, talked long enough now. Let's pull some more orders. Back to my wall of ski boots, because you guys know I love to sell them. Atomic is a pretty good brand. Actually, a really good brand of ski boots, if I can get it out. And then, yeah, so I paid roughly, probably, you know, I don't remember what I pay for each pair of ski boots. It's usually between like 10 and, not 10, 7 and 10 to maybe 12. But uh, I'm pretty sure I paid around 10 for these. And they sold for $125. Um, yeah, like, I, I love selling ski boots, especially this time of year. They bring in some good money. I got my little heater going, but uh, it's not really doing too much because I'm still cold. Now, I sold a golf club out of my beautiful rack system for my golf clubs that I got from Dustin, the Pro Pickers affiliate link in his Amazon link. If you guys sell golf clubs, Get yourself these, check out his, it's just in the description of all of his videos. You click on the Amazon link, it'll take you right to this. It's, it's a game changer. I have always had a hard time storing golf clubs and this has made it so simple. But, Medicus, look out for that brand. So, especially if you see it has the hinge on it, that means it's a swing trainer. And now swing trainers, you know, golf club training aids are fantastic. They sell amazing. I picked this up in my Utah trip for, three or four dollars and let me set it down yeah, so I picked it up for three to four dollars and it sold for 45 fairly quickly and it's the winter time but yeah swing trainers anything medicus doesn't matter if it's an iron driver putter they all sell really good so pick them out I mean look out for them I sold some brand new foot joys that I picked up at Goodwill for twelve dollars let me press them down I need to get like a little table in here for this but yeah, some new, brand new foot joys, and they sold for 50. When it comes to winter ski snowboard jackets or pants, Oakley is a great brand to look out for. It always sells like very fast for really good money. I sold this basic ski jacket for uh, $80. It is the software model, and yeah, it sold within a week. Just picked this up in a recent video as well. I paid like $17.50 for it. It is a Bose Wave Radio model. AWR1-1W and it sold for $85 and it sold very quickly. Over in my camera section, I sold a digital camera. It is this Nikon Cool Picks and digital cameras are very hot right now. They have been for about the last year. It's the S30 model and I paid five bucks for it and it sold for 60. Um, this one took a little bit longer to sell. It's not as desirable of a model, but five into 60, I will take that. I sold a couple pairs of Vans for some decent profit. This is a pretty good model of them. Uh, Vans Ultra Kush skateboard shoes. These sold for $47.49 and they sold fairly quickly. I was going to pull a few more shoes and talk about them, but I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing shoes on my channel. Plus, it is cold. I just want to get back home, pack this stuff up, and warm up. Um, so with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.